ballasted um, what I'm going to do now is mix my uh, uh, PVA and water and washing up liquid mix um, and I'll siphon that on with a uh, pipette um, good top tip I always like to do is uh, to soak the ballast first which I'll do with a uh, um, a sprayer um, that just helps the uh, the glue go into the ballast and stick through a um, few things to note as I actually glue, I will not be gluing the uh, point uh, levers or anywhere near them for that matter. Um, all I do is just ballast over the lot um, first and then uh, once the glue generally around is dry I'll then hoover all that out and do it uh, individually. But uh, otherwise quite happy with that. Let's get on with gluing. <laughs> Thank you. 
soaking wet as you can see here all the water um, but it's all glued and it's drying um, we'll come back to this uh, another day um, be a, in a second for you but uh, for me another day and we'll see how it's dried up and we'll give it a test run there we go we're all dry um, I've loosely put my buffers and shed back in but uh, the next job is to uh, tidy up all the mess in between so all the loose ballast I need to uh, just go over the shape of the mounds and the shoulders and whatnot. Um, see I've been a bit eager clearing the points out <laughs> um, what I'll do is I'll fill these holes in dry in the points um, just to make sure they work um, you can see the priority is to have an uninhibited point um, and there we go the next stage um, will be to fill in all the the gaps um, which will make it look less brown obviously tidy up the ballast so you can see where uh, some bits spilled over the sleepers with the, the spraying of the water um, and then uh, the detail starts and all being well, we'll uh, have a heritage line. As always, thank you for watching, and join me in the next one. Take care.